in show business, quite like Kerry Ann Kennelly. For so long, she'd been a daily fixture on our television screens. Well, today she returned to the airwaves and once again with a midday start. One more. There you go. Oh, that's a good boy. And this, of course, is very important news of the day. My dog swims. The world must know about this. After a two-year break from the limelight, CAC is back promising to be every bit as animated and spontaneous as we saw her on the midday show. But this time, her audience will only be able to listen to her antics as she takes lunchtime to the airwaves on Sydney's 2GB. It is always spooky to do something new. But at the end of the day, what I love to do is just talk to people, mm. communicate. So, you know, hopefully that'll all, uh, that'll all work and it'll come back. But, yeah, when you haven't, haven't sort of done this format and it is brand new today so we are making it up we've got a lot of new ideas uh, so who knows what today may hold okay thanks darling mm -hmm. well, good luck she signed up with gb and its boss adman john singleton for the next three years starting well behind the eight ball with a minuscule proportion of the ratings are you feeling the pressure because you're really starting from the beginning aren't you yeah yeah i think um I'm fairly used to pressure. I actually enjoy it. And preparation is the key. And hopefully we're reasonably well prepared. What have we missed for today? We've got Howard up first. So, um... so why do you think listeners should switch over? But she's um, well, a bit of fun. Um, it, it will be fun entertainment, but also um, in and out. Well, I think we'll really offer a little bit of direction in terms of feeling good. I mean, I want to concentrate on the positive rather than the negative. But that doesn't mean you stick your head in the sand and pretend the big bad world isn't out there. It is, but it's all the spin. Mm. And we want to put a good spin on news. I don't know. Now, this program is a real learning curve for me. Okay. And as I say, I'm thrilled to have, have all of you on the program. But well, Carrie Ann will now have to perform that, without the help of a band a and a live shoot. studio okay. audience. She's determined to make midday on the airwaves just as entertaining and already has plans to take the show to the people, starting with Tamworth later in the week. Do you think there's going to be any chance you'll be tempted to sing behind the microphone? <laughs> no, I, I think I shall resist that temptation. But we might be having our own star search. We'll be, you know, we want to try and create maybe one of the old radio serials. We, and that would be a lot of fun. How do you think working in radio will be different to television? Oh, vastly different um, in the sense that you've got to be a lot more creative as to how you can develop that excitement on air. Um, getting people, boring people to sound interesting, doing shtick, um, sight gangs like we used to do on midday is clearly a lot more difficult on radio. I don't think it's impossible. And just to prove a point, Kerry Ann put her first now, guest to the test, presenting our Prime Minister, our Prime Minister firstly with a very special pair of R.M. Williams so boots to rival George Bush's inauguration know, footwear. With the Commonwealth <laughs> seal. Do you have a Prime Ministerial seal? No, no, I just... Before asking a self-confessed cricket tragic for a batting demonstration in the confines of her very crowded studio. I love doing stuff live. I, I'm not very good at pre-records, going out and doing stories and stuff, because I like doing it live. I like living on the edge just a little bit, and it's what I've been doing for so many years. Because she managed to have some fun with you today. What did you think of the shoes? Oh, they're great. <laughs> they're very nice. I appreciate them very much. And, uh, that would have been a bit of a surprise. Uh, yeah, she did, she did that with uh, typical flair, and you know, she sort of is, uh, always has something like that. Used to have that on midday television and if that's a feature of her program I think it'll be it'll it'll uh, it'll go well and obviously coming on to her first show is a real show of support from you well I I do wish her well yes mm. and uh, it's it's quite a leap from what she was previously doing and uh, we'll just see how it works out we will follow Margaret and mm. her baby she's due today where would you like to be in six months time as far as ratings go as far as your show goes I'm not very good and I wouldn't dare to make uh, any predictions because I think we have a healthy opposition um, I just want to be here I want people to enjoy themselves and feel better for the experience Rachel friend with the unstoppable Kerry Ann Kennelly 
We'll be back in a moment. Tell you how you can adopt one of these gorgeous creatures. But also on the program this morning, Robin Nevin, actor extraordinaire, will be joining us, as well as we renovate on a budget. So there's a lot happening. We'd like your company. Stay with us. Let's go on with the show. What do you Thank you, Jamie. You've done a wonderful job. Very job. early in the day for me, Carrie Ann. It is a little early, Dame Edna, oh. but we are very, very glad and very grateful. We're trying to make you feel as comfortable. We have the red carpet. We have your favourite tea service, I believe. So, thank you. So pretty, and you've given me lamingtons for breakfast. <laughs> it's quite nice. What will you think of next? And you're looking lovely. Well, thank is you. Is that a, um, a Spanish skirt of yours? Um, just a little cow. Is it made of leather? You... It is a little leather suede number. Lovely. It's Australian very designers, and I, I know you like your designers. I as do well. like Australian designers. Well, I, I wanted to be so much simpler because you are always so glamorous, and I could never compete. Well, we contrast very, very well, and you're so pretty. I've always adored you, Carrie Ann. Thank you, Dame Edna. <laughs> now, we always like to title our guests here on the program, but of course, you are. Dame Edna Megastar, oh, please. is it superstar or, or is it just I'm housewife just superstar? I'm just an ordinary person. I'm a very lucky Melbourne housewife. I've had a, a fairy tale career and uh, it's going from strength to strength. People say to me, when would you retire? I'll never retire. Most people I know are filling in time. I haven't got time enough. I stuff my days as full as my handbag, as a matter of fact. Oh, indeed. And I, I do notice that you've brought your handbag with you this morning. One of them. That One of many. In fact, that's, what, that's one of the things you and the Queen have in common, because, of course, have you have met her. many things in common, the Queen and I. Yes. <laughs> you, you've met her several times. Met her? She's an intimate friend of mine, Carrie Ann. Mm. She consults me. I have in my bag, in one of my handbags, because I've got a collection of them. And there you are with the Queen right there. That was a little little time ago. Yes, that was a while ago. I think I've worn well, though I don't think she has, funnily enough. Mm. Yeah, I, I would agree. I would agree. I always notice you've got your handbag. The Queen has her handbag. Remarkably some. Do you... What do you think? Have you ever noticed her actually take anything out of it? No, but she looks in it from time to time because it's full of security things. She can touch a button and blow someone up. It's amazing. <laughs> I've got, a, well, various interesting things in my bag and I, her little fingers are stretching towards it to seize it from me. I, I, I'd love to know what was in Damien's bag. Well, this is one of bag. my dullest bags. I've got beautiful ones mm -hmm. made by Australian designers. Little Donna Mae Bollinger has made me a beautiful bag with printed gorgeous things all over it. But I thought I'd wear this to Channel 9 because of, well, people might sneak my bag off me. You never know. Oh, I have yes. to cling on to it. Mm -hmm. I've heard there's been a bit of pilfering around here lately. <laughs> so I have in this small bag, viewers, a stun gun. <laughs> A stun gun? A stun gun. I have my meetings list, Megastars Anonymous meetings list. Megastars Anonymous isn't really quite as big in Australia as it is in California. In fact, thank you so much, Kerry Ann. And Seersucker was invented by someone called Mr. Sucker, and I met him. <laughs> Two people, Mr. Seer and Mr. Sucker. And also, when I was in Scandinavia, and I'm just talking more or less off the top of my purple head now, <laughs> uh, I met Mr. Bang. And he's a most attractive person. He's the Bang of Bang and Olufsen. Makes those sound systems. Mm -hmm. He's delightful, as you would expect from a man with a name like that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Has he got a big subwoofer? Mm, a woofer? Yes. No, but quite an impressive tweeter. <laughs> <laughs> As we were discussing, I hope that tea's all right Is this for show you. getting a bit raunchy? No, no, well, <laughs> I'm a family entertainer. I'm an extremely wholesome woman. I'm almost a religion in America. They want to make me mm. into a religion like Deepak Chopra, you know. I suppose I am a little bit like old Deepak. I'm more of a six-pack than a D-pack. <laughs> but um, I don't want that. I don't want that kind of power over people. 
Oh, I but like you to do, give Heather. them power. I know, I but like you do. To empower my audience, mm. as people in Melbourne will soon see. And I know you're doing a lot of counselling on your show because you've so much experience and you've so many other wonderful uh, guests on your show, as I saw. But your, your particular um, expertise in counselling now, I, I just oh, find wonderful. extraordinary. You know, I look into the audience and I, I don't. A lot of unhappy people come to me mm. in the hope that I will bring them out of themselves and bring them joy, and I do. But I look at the front row and I see couples, sometimes in distress, in conflict. I bring them onto the stage and in a few minutes, they're either on the brink of divorce, <laughs> more often than not, they're on the brink of divorce, or they're healed in a marvelous way. They learn about themselves. Carrie Ann, is there anyone you can be you with? You, Dame Edna. Oh, how oh, sweet. Not Because you just make true. me feel so comfortable. I think people feel they can be themselves with me. Mm. If only I could be me with them. Sadly, I can't. But you are the megastar. It's a lot. It's isolated and sometimes... <laughs> sometimes it's a lonely life for me, Carrie Ann. It is. Would you just have your teeth? I want to cheer you up. I was talking about your hats. You've had so many wonderful hats. In fact, Rosie, our wonderful friend, Who? Neil Neil Grigg is <laughs> Neil Neil Grigg is a wonderful friend of mine. Neil You've had Grigg. so many wonderful is he a hat hats. designer. He is. is and Rosie, he? Um, Rosie, come on out because oh, you've got look. some lovely Hello, hats. Dave. And Hello, we just thought Rosie. we'd get some appreciation what from you because young woman. you've had so many wonderful hats in your life and we thought just maybe you could give Look, Neil a little Neil. bit of a hand. Can I take that for you? Let me see. Around. Oh. Sorry. Well, Call Cel me old fashioned. Celez Patterson, of course, is very fond of Don't He's mention the new sporting him, ambassador. He's you... a horrible person. But he does infiltrate your show a little. He does, but And I think he's absolutely um, you know, um in enthralled with you, I I've got to say. Um but by the way, the State Theatre till the end of this week well, and this also to on to Melbourne. No, I'm just I can't wait for everybody to see it and have as much fun as I did. Now also as a special treat, you've been more than generous with our morning's audience because tomorrow on the program we're going to give away tickets for both the Sydney and the Melbourne there are none show. To give away. Well, apparently only a couple late and maybe in Melbourne. Oh, that's lovely. So they'll have to watch tomorrow and we can uh, talk about it again. Will there be a quiz? How will they uh, get them? I'll have to figure that out. Have you got any ideas? It's you've been kind enough, so Well, here's one. What sex is a gladiolus? Oh. Now, that's a very interesting one because I've studied them. Okay, well, I'll have to get All the answer. All I will quietly. say is that I never leave them in the vase overnight with the lights off. <laughs> <laughs> Dame Edna, I'm going to have to let you take your stun gun and leave us. We're going to I take must a break. Go, but, Carrie Thank Ann, you. thanks for having me at your place. Mm -hmm. And, viewers, don't forget there are no strangers in this world, just friends you haven't met yet. Thank you, I hope you meet that special friend today. Dame Edna, thank you. And uh, we've got a lot more coming up on the show. And by the way, thank you to the Sydney Antique Show uh, Centre, rather, for bringing this the lovely... The Antique Centre, I know that. It's adorable. They it have is? a lovely ladies' room there. Have they? Mm. <laughs> Well, they kindly brought all this in for us this morning. Uh, but we've uh, got a lot coming up. In fact, a subject very close to your heart, Dame Edna, after this. We talk about happiness, and we thank you for your happiness. time. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. You are beautiful. You've had a fantastic run in TV. Can we go back over? Can you give me the shopping list of, of you know, the major? I uh, started work on an afternoon television kids show called Everybody In when I was about 13. And right now, I'd like to tell you about Streets Ice Cream. Streets Mount is a brand new taste treat from Streets, and it's only five cents at your favourite store, and it contains banana and strawberry. And it's just two delicious, Greg, and I love them. And there's one for you, <laughs> and you. I might give this one to the audience. I don't know. About a million kids would be after me. <laughs> only five cents. And did Good Morning Australia for 11 years. 
I did an afternoon program for Channel 10 for a year called Monday to Friday, did a bit of radio in between that, and then three years of midday. Good. Yeah, it's, it's, uh... You think I'd get it right, but... <laughs> <laughs> so, so, do you... So, and especially live TV. I mean, I, I, I how many hours did we work out? Well, I've done... Kerry Ann's actually done more hours of live television than any other Australian uh, TV personality. So I've learned to fake it better than anybody. <laughs> Oh, John, that's a bit of an insult, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> On television. <laughs> well, what a difference. What a difference a day makes. <laughs> try, try two years. Yeah, two years of pneumatic drills yeah and... all that fun but do you like you do like you do approve because oh, you did come here two good. years ago it's and good. gave us a lot of uh, hints and you've got your trick of the eye up here the trompe l'oeil yes we didn't know what to do with the wall because you can't put plants there there's no earth to grow no. and i didn't want to get into all that drama and stewie um, was fabulous. Um, he showed me some of his work and then I came home one day and, and this is what happened. He used to be a tattoo artist. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> no, I didn't get any. <laughs> I'm not one for pain. Do you like this design, the way we've yeah. put the sandstone yep. down here yep. and the way it's sort of shaped around there? I think it, it all works very, very well. The only thing I'd do is just mm. leave it go. I wouldn't seal it. Let it go, let it settle in a bit. You've got lovely colours, but mm. just let them quiet down, just a fraction because that then will match in with with all of this. It's good now. I've got to let it get with... dirty. Yeah, yeah. Because it is brand new. Is that cast off John when he's in a bad mood? <laughs> First thing in the morning? <laughs> no, it's the mother-in-law. <laughs> oh, there we go. Completely incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Ma. It's all right, you can hit him later. <laughs> Now, I'm so happy with the way it turned out because the, the pool really took up so much space of the yard, we didn't want that, but really the, the real reason was my husband wanted his trains. Now, obviously, normally when a husband has the obsession, uh -huh. it, it's a thing of agony. That's my what... name. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, his second one, not his primary one, the second one, the trains. Mm. Normally, the wife, oh, these his bloody trains. But well, I, not... I did ask her if we could move the first time, and then a year later, the second time, and a year later, the third time, and a year later, 17 years later, <laughs> she said we could move. <laughs> so I was going to make darn sure that we could have uh, a, a railway, a whole house built around the railway. <laughs> this is the uh, the modelling room and the, the first bit of track I've laid. Oh. I've made all, all of them myself, and I've now made probably about 80 coaches like this, and they're all fully detailed. Oh, no, they're absolutely wonderful. And much as I hate to say it, what a tragedy to waste this conservatory on plants. Well, the best thing is the light is superb. <laughs> I know. Superb. So much better for this. I think it's wonderful. Take me right back to the track, track. Kerry Ann's Life Energy. This is the, the new book that's coming out? Yep. It started because everybody, one of the thoughts and, uh, and conversations I always have is where do you get your energy? So when I sat down to analyse it, I think I've just tried to absorb other people's energy in life. And I've had the good fortune professionally and personally to have met some of the best people in the world. I've done 12,000 interviews, met some extraordinary people and I wanted to know why they were successful. <laughs> Too much already, isn't it, dear? But let's do the makeover anyway. <laughs> Don't be afraid, I'm going to do some teasing of your hair. Nah, nah, nah. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. Fight or die. All right. You ain't never put around and ain't no friend of mine. Ladies and gentlemen. You're still the party girl? Um. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if, I, if I partied as much as everybody thought I partied, I, I probably would be dead. But you see, I'm, I always, I love to be involved in stuff. I love to yeah. be places yeah. and go places because I think I'm going to miss out 
And everybody says, oh, you know, there's a lot of people who, those party, uh, going to the opening of an envelope. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I just have, I love the frock. It's a good excuse to wear a hat when you go to the races. I love to put on a party frock. And I have no problem admitting that. I just love getting in there, getting my hands dirty. And if you get a chance to sing a song, well and good. Yeah, I haven't done that for a while. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Try to resist that temptation. To reach the destination for the last of the lack. You need some compensation to get back to the black. You read the morning paper from the top of the stack. I think so. The, back. the only job it's open needs a man with a knack, so take me right back to the track. Coming up next, Jackie French is going to show you how to make lip balm. Thank you.